What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here. We are back with more Emberfell Whispers from the Stars. I'm, of course, your GM, your DM for the Knights, Jumbo Thick. And I'm joined by the full cast and crew of uh, the Ember, one of the, you know, it can't be Ember fellas, the crew, just the crew. Uh, let's start with some brief introductions with um, Jumbo Smooth. Hello, everyone. I am Jumbo Smooth. I'll be playing the role of Rogar Silvamo this evening. 400 pounds, 745 Dragonborn, um, with a recent uh, acquisition of a uh, nose ring of intellect, uh, or eye ring, brow ring, brow ring of intellect. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see how that plays out. See, you know, smarter nip- Rogar. Nipple ring is also nipple viable, ring as well. viable awesome. option. I'm just going to throw Albert? it out there. Just one? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, Prince Albert. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about we slide on down to Dan Decker? Well, hello, everyone. As Mr. Thick noted, I am Dan Decker, playing the part of Moog uh, Giants Bane Broadjaw. Um, not so much the Giants Bane last, last go round, um, <clears throat> but uh, was entertained by an ogre. So there was that. Um, but yeah, he's about eight feet tall, you know, uh, 400 pounds, uh, 10 foot reach, big old arms, crossbow expert. That's it. And let's slide on over to Dewey 209. What's going on, everybody? Dewey 209. Play Tristan Burrell, the high elf time wizard. And I'm just glad that uh, I have a new sidekick. His name is Rogar. He went from being big and dumb to big and possibly able to learn how to read now. I'd say so. I'd say so for sure. Can't wait to watch him make health potions. Good luck. (laughs) Let's slide on over to Kayla. Hello, everyone. I'm Kayla. I play the role of Valerie. I am a 267-year-old. Former elf, damn pure, barbarian, 5'11", long, white hair, yellow eyes, and claws. Mm. So, anyway, (laughs) that's my story. That's my story. And last but not least, Andrea. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm playing Zune, a five foot tall, like 100 pounds soaking wet drow bard. very loud, very traumatized right now, and that's about it. He should be. It's because, last we left off, the party here had found themselves in the midst of a, a manhunt, one might say, for a, a few missing people from Conwich that had gone missing from a nearby um, mill, a timber mill, owned by the Thrak clan that were supplying the lumber needed for the reconstruction of Conwich. Um, however, you had come to find out that it was under the recent acquisition of a high keen Malkuth man eater, you know, the, the thinker of the uh, hill giant tribe in the local area, apparently, whom had not only established um, outposts around all of the roads, as you had discovered, but also um, a plethora of traps and other devices to discourage a mass invasion as well as a very large fortress that was um, currently being worked on. It was relatively built into its entirety, but um, still probably had a little bit of uh, work to be done. Within said camp, you infiltrated and were able to slay everyone, all of the uh, trolls, as well as many hill giants along the um, interior of the actual encampment itself as well as liberate a captured stone giant that was being held for some reason we did not yet uh, determine what Um, in addition to that you then witnessed a event in the king's bedroom where there was some um, coitus happening between him and two female hill giants uh, as well as a few guards that were within the actual fortress itself one going to investigate the massive 
Um, not necessarily the commotion outside, but more or less the probably the smell of the burning building that Tristan Varel had lit on fire. Um, quickly seen, the camp was under attack. Their slave escaped, and then immediately seen Tristan Varel painting off the side of a wall, um, exposing everyone. And as soon as that happened, all of you leaped into action, ripping and tearing through these hill giants <laughs> up until you made it to the king's chambers and then you felt a little resistance. As it turns out, the high thinker was not just the high thinker in name, as he appeared to be capable of utilizing spellcraft as well as some very sound tactics. And after a very brutal fight, one in which somehow Zoom did not, got, did not get blown off the roof and was in fact the last man standing uh, at the end there, as Rogar was eaten, quite literally, completely swallowed. Velry was downed at one point, at two points. Moog was smacked against the wall. And Tristan Varel uh, got pancaked like he normally does. Zune being the last man standing, able to, with, with a bit of quick thinking, resurrect Rogar for a final blow. And then I just kind of gave you guys the spider because it was a given. It was a giant spider. That was... <laughs> Also through some bad rolls happened. But regardless, though, you were victorious. Um, and to the victor goes the spoils. As you had literally been in the ch treasure chamber, the pile of loot that Malkuth had collected for himself and took what you wanted. Quite a bit of loot in here, um, including, of course, the aforementioned um, quote-unquote uh, piercing of intellect that Rogar pierced into his eyebrow, giving him a uh, 19 intelligence while attuned to it, as well as numerous other items, including some very illicit drugs. Um, a crate, in fact, of <laughs> some crimson eye, as well as a pouch of uh, a little lesser known, but very potent um, uh Performance enhancement drug, we'll call it, for spellcasters. Um, you did, however, recover, um, though recover. Uh, what the missing woman that you were sent to look for, the daughter of the uh, head of the Thrat clan, whom was being used to brew and stir a very potent smelling elixir is what it was referred to as in the kitchen area within the fortress. Um, you guys had covered various plots and ploys of the giants themselves, as well as details linking the giants to Conwich through some kind of old man. Um, who knows what that's about? I don't know. I, d I didn't make the connection. Uh, yeah. Regardless, though, after liberating everyone, you guys did take a long rest, or you guys have a long rest in, if you haven't taken one already. And as you were setting up camp, you did relieve the remainder of the captives. There were about 12 individuals, most of them from Conwich. Um, a few travelers, uh, like on the road. And... Yeah, there's in fact, actually, um, I did forget to tell you guys this, there's in fact a single soldier um, from somewhere. He's wearing samurai-esque armor and is bloody, broken, and uh, he's captured like the rest of them. But, say time has passed. Um, there is still the large pit in the center of the fortress where you did he hear a wailing scream previously. Um, very horrifying, terrifying, one might say. And you did uncover details that uh, one of the hill giants apparently drank the elixir early in its gluttony and suffered catastrophic um, changes and was deposited in this pit by Malkuth. So, that's what we're picking up. Um, just so to have a disadvantage on ability checks, that is like all the skills, right? Yes. And then 
saving throws or no? No. And what about initiative? That is an ability check. <laughs> did, did we rest? Is it eight hours? You will ha you will get a long rest. You guys can ask whatever you want about the fortress. You have free reign of the place at this point. And just so we're Morning. clear, that uh, you know when you take a long rest, you know you can remove one level of exhaustion. So. Yes, you can. You can remove yeah. one. Yeah. It's morning time. It is the morning. However, let's see what the weather's going to look like today, gentlemen. He also and snuck ladies. in a description of a soldier in there. That I wasn't did in there last time. I did. Um, it is cold. <laughs> it is very, very cold. There's a light. There's a bit of a chill in the air, and in fact, there's a bit of. Um, almost like frost on some of the surfaces in the outdoors. No frozen anything yet, but definitely winter is coming. I would like to cast Detect Thoughts on the nutty lady from yesterday. I'm sorry, the daughter. The daughter? Yeah. Um, it's a Wisdom 15 saving throw. Okay. Are you talking about Avenel? Is that her name? I didn't know we had gotten her name. But yeah, yeah, Avenel, oh, I believe. Uh, she's, me. She Avenel was the one the stirring, right? Letty, excuse me. I can't, Letty? I can't say okay. that. Yeah, I've been mixing them up. Um, yes, so it's a 15. Mm -hmm. 15 was. That is a fail, big time. Okay, I want to delve deep into her mind and delve figure deep. out into her mind. I, are you waiting till the morning or are you going to do this during the oh, night? I have, I have to wait until the morning. Okay, I need yeah, to be yeah. rested. All right. Um, in the morning, you see that she is um, kind of keeping to herself, uh, kind of mm -hmm. rocking back and forth a little bit. And as you peer into her mind, uh, the first that you first you get surface thoughts before you even delve deeper. And on the surface, you hear her thinking, uh, "Muster, muster, muster! Don't touch it! Don't drink it! Muster, muster!" And then as you delve deep and deeper, um, I'm gonna need you to give me a sanity check. No, of course, it's fine. I knew this was coming, but you know. Did you? <laughs> Did Not you? gonna use it, what's it good for, you know? Sanity. Um, let's see, just a d20, right? D20 and then add whatever your modifier would be for that. I'm gonna have to go figure out what my, mm, not good. Um, I'm gonna tell you right I'm now. I'm gonna do a luck. I'm gonna use a luck. Okay, no, go ahead. We're not go doing ahead. that. I'm not. Go ahead. I'm not playing that. I just I have to know. What's that? That I'm gonna use another luck because. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Let's blow them all. Blow uh, them all. Three. Blow them all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will keep this one. So I've blown through two lucks. Yep. Yep. What's the now? What's your modifier? This will be important. My modifier is. I know I screwed up before before I remember. Do you know what your score is? Because I can tell you yes. your modifier. I am. Uh, it looks like I got knocked down to. I have like nine out of 13. I started yes. with 13 and I ended you up with You have a nine. nine. Yes. You have nine. So you are at a negative one. Right. So 16. 16. 16 total um, on the yeah. roll. As you begin to delve into what is literally the ravings of a mad woman as uh, she has apparently been doing something not pleasant or been next to something not so great. And as you peer deep into her mind, you see that there is a, um, uh, she, she has memories of being dangled over the pit in particular, uh, almost as if she's trying not to, she's trying to do as she's told, so she's not fed to the creature within. Um, she never sees it. All she sees is a gaping open mouth as it came up for the initial bite before Malkuth pulled her to the side and instructed her on what her duties were to be. She was to read from the recipe that was written down. Um, she was to keep it secret at all times. You get a glance at the recipe, Zoom. 
and it begins to shatter your mind. However, okay. you instinctively guard yourself and you pull away so that you don't get the full grasp of the situation. Um, however, it looks like our good friend did in fact read the whole recipe and it will be forever changed. Uh -oh. Mm. Whatever the recipe was for is what you can uh, assume at this point would be the elixir that he was having her brew. Yeah. And she didn't catch any insight as to what the elixir was supposed to do or what it was supposed to be for. So what you get, um, since she since she read it, this is kind of getting kind of weird because you're getting like weird secondhand information. And it is from the ravings of a crazy person. So you're not quite sure what all's blown out of disproportion or not in these memories. Um, what you come to see is that um, the elixir was being brewed for trade. However, the man that was supposed to purchase it has not come back to collect on trade. And so Malkuth deciding to use it himself. Okay. That's what Tristan had gathered. All right, great. Well, I'm going to pull out of that mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, she's kind of just kind of yeah, like biting on her fingernails, kind of rocking back and forth. Not sure what we're going to tell her dad, but uh, this is your daughter now. Good luck. I mean, <laughs> okay, great. Um, the pit, is it, is there a door or something over it? I don't quite recall. Or no, it's just, just open? it's just an open hole in the ground. Um, Rogar and Moog had looked down in it and they'd seen deep scratch marks the size of proportionate in like uh, diameter and length of probably a giant creature. Um, and it looked like there were claw marks as if it was trying to dig its way out of the hole and has yet to be able to do so. Great. Okay, thank you. Um. By the time I wake up, would any of the prisoners be awake, especially the soldier? Um, yes. Yes, they would. Damn it. Okay. What are they doing? Um, I'm assuming you guys just kind of let them out of their cage and they've been gathering for warmth. They're, uh, they're, they were not kept well. These were not gracious hosts, one might say. Um, most of them are suffering from malnutrition and probably disease starting to set in. Uh, you're not sure how long some of them have been here or not. Um, as recent as a week, and there, it looks like there might be a couple of the uh, people not from Conwich that have been here for quite some time. Um, you do know from talking with Omen that his battalion that was moving into this area that was destroyed, um, at least this this finger of it that he was uh, talking about, um, came through here uh, at least, um, I think he said a week ago, maybe longer. Going to gather up our party, mm -hmm. tight, close-knit circle. Mm -hmm. I can get uh, the great thinker to answer some questions. Uh, whether or not you all think it would be worth it. My mind's yeah. telling me no, but my body's telling me yes. Well, I figure we get five of them, so if you have five questions you would like to ask, we can. What's that potion supposed to do? Well, that can be your question if you like. That can be the first one we ask that. them. Anything else? Just didn't know if anybody wanted to bother doing this, or? I do. Oh, all right. We could have some useful information. Perhaps we could ask the identity of the man who contracted him to make the potion. Tristan will reach into his bag, pull out a little thing of incense, pull out his matchbook, light it, and walk over to the great thinker's 
body. Okay. Now I do cast before, speak with dead. before you cast it. Mm-hmm. I do because I think it's stupid and this is not a ritual because I thought it was. Yeah, it's not. A um, if you would like to do this as a ritual, mm-hmm. I will allow you to do so, but you will have to make a spellcasting ability check. It's up to you. You would not have to spend a spell slot. Uh, we're, we're just starting out. I'll spend the spell slot. Okay. All right. So you know that there is a more complex ritual that you have written down in your your spell book, the journal that you read from. Um, however, utilizing some of the inherent magic that you have been able to weave together, you're able to more or less rush and guarantee the transition and you're able to animate a corpse um for you tristan varel as you begin to use the chronergy magic that you so you do so wield um you watch as malkuth who's been dead all night rigid um pools of blood leaking out of his body i'm assuming no one tried to move him he is gargantuan um still in his armor you watch as his head kind of, and he's, he's laying uh, face, uh, was he face down? Rogar knocked his teeth out. He's probably on his back. We'll say he's on his back then. Um, as the head kind of t- t- twists and you watch as some of the pink of living flesh begins to flush once again, as time is temporarily reversed for just a few moments. Uh, as Malkuth kind of <gasps> and kind of looks towards you, Trist. There's a strange glow in his eye. Malkuth, great thinker. What was this uh, recipe for? What were you trying to do? It says he can be cryptic in the responses. Yes. Me brew thing old man ask who is the old man old man from town he come with with shinies we need to put that smart rain back in the corpse it's too late (laughs) it's too late (laughs) Uh. I'm back to you we get three more Feel free. And what was his answer to the first question again? Sorry. And I'm not asking him that. I'm asking Tris that. (laughs) (laughs) He, He didn't really answer it. How many giants under your command? Let's roll for it. <laughs> Four. Was it the roll? <laughs> oh, nope. Okay. Okay. That, that was answer. Four. Stupid as shit. Four giants. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, okay. guys. <laughs> um. Where did you come across? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Where are the rest of you hiding at? We have camp, a long road, eat many small things, bring thing to Malkuth. This is difficult. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Just answer it truthfully. It is. I mean, it, you don't. Get, you'll find out. Yeah. How it's can also, we kill? How can we kill the thing in the pit? Touched by star thing, unkillable. That's good to know. All right. Is that five? That was five? That was five. As he says it, he kind of, he looks towards Rogar. 
sees the piercing. His fingers begin to twitch, move towards it, and then he oh, falls dead once again. Unkillable thing in the pit. Question. That's what Malkuth said. The Can dumb you, Malkuth. You can't. Once someone speaks with the dead, so say like Triss speaks mm-hmm. with dead with this guy. Can someone else then come along and speak with Dead with him as well? Or is that not, disallowed? Not can, for but 10 it takes, days. Yeah, it takes time. Ten it days. takes 10 days before the corpse can be spoken to again. Um, Rogar kind of asked Trist, um, is there any way that someone can speak with him again? And Trist tells me that. Yeah. 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 I mean, it depends if this Legion has a caster with them. Is there any way to hamper their ability to speak with? Well, from the uh, studdings that my father talked about, you can uh, remove the jaw. Mm. No jaw, Ro- no speak. Rogar goes over there with his uh, club. The and club? <laughs> Jesus, and how long it's going to take? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. He'll pull I was going to try and rip great. it out. Or, or no, I guess what a thing. morning, you know. <laughs> That'd be fine, too. If Valerie wants to go rip it off, um, oh, please. Valerie starts after you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> talons that she has. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Valerie easily enough starts carving in around it. And I mean, it, it's... You, you got to remember, he ate you, Rogar. This is a big creature. I mean, it's big, massive. Big job. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Massive. Your Valerie's over there carving on it. Between the two of you, you about ah, rip the damn <laughs> jaw off of the body. It's covered in in sickening mold. It's not moldy yet, but but pallid flesh. Congeal blood. Conge- yeah, yeah. yeah, and then you get the wafting sensation. While Malkuth apparently is cleaner than the rest of these hill giants, he's still a hill giant, and he smells like rotten shit. Um, even more so now than in life, um, as you guys pull this thing off and its tongue lolls out of the hole right by its throat. Its elongated tongue just kind of walk onto like its chest area. Mm. All right. Well, who's hungry? <laughs> Great reference. Um, Valerie's always hungry. I'm here for a bite. <laughs> You gonna eat <laughs> Malkuk? I'm dead. Okay, we might do a dead man's blood thing for you. <laughs> Poison. Tristan, are there ways to heal insanity magically? Uh, there, I believe there are. Is there a way? Do you know of any way to block memories? Block memories? That I do not know. I'm sure there are people who do know, though. That's right. We do have a a priestess I could probably reach out to. But, okay. So, what do we do about the thing in the pit that's touched by the stars and unkillable? I say we leave it for the army. God, it's not a bad idea. All right. So, what's next? Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Breakfast sounds good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to practice removing curses. Roger's gonna help. Uh, oh, he's going to uh, repair a, an extra large breakfast. Ooh, um, yeah. I, I can tell you now. Roger, okay. There was there's there is a large quantity of food. Okay. In this fortress. Awesome. Um, Roger's. Yeah. Yeah, Roger's gonna try to pay our. At least, you know, at least roast some meat for the, uh, the captives. Mm-hmm. Um, give them a little healthier for our journey. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. So and they take it graciously, um, very graciously. But they're sages there, after all. Are there any like wild rodents running around for Valerie to munch on? Do. <laughs> what? Why don't you give me perception test, Valerie? <laughs> Just asking. Have you have a disadvantage right now because you're a little sluggish. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, not great. A nine. So, um, yes, Rogar? 
Yeah. Is Rogar? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Does he? Does she see anything? Or you do not see anything outright. No. Yeah. Nothing small enough. What were you going to look for, Rogar? Rogar, if she was going to be able to find one, Rogar was going to see if he could uh, see that she was doing it. Um, you can see that she's he, hunting, obviously, with the 23 of Rogar. You can see okay. that she's kind of in that kind of feral mood looking around. And you watch Rogar, she moves to the back of the back of the pantry. And as she does, several like rabbit-sized rats go go crawling back behind her, and she's just completely looking in the wrong direction. They come like sniffing around, and then they go bolting for cover. Um, has Valerie ever said her last name? I don't think she has. And Simply her, Valerie. And her okay. attendants never said anything. Okay. Um, well, then Rogar will um, be get close to her and say, um, <laughs> Miss Villery, perhaps it would be unwise to show your more primitive nature to our uh, feeble companions here. They might get the wrong idea of you as an ally or a foe. Something to remember. Hmm. Go look at Rogar and like this kind of a blank stare because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Like acknowledge I hear him talking to me, but continue my search. But really, I will not listen. (laughs) Are we hearing any of this exchange? Or sure. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's not exactly hidden. Uh, I promise I will help you find Suvo Prey later. Maybe we could look outside of the wall. I mean, I wasn't, I, I initially meant just like in the village oh, itself. Yeah. But Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to eyeball around Her and see off. if I can find rats. There are rats here. I'm gonna see if I can. There's catch a lot them. amount of food here, giant food. Yeah. I'm gonna catch rats. You're gonna catch a rat soon. I'm gonna try to catch a rat. I'm gonna try to help her, and then she can take it to like the bathroom or something and go for it. <laughs> Give me a perception <laughs> test, Zoon. Whatever her oh, issue is. Guess what, Zoon? You're at disadvantage because it's daylight out here. Ah, <laughs> the wow. first time ever. Oh, true. <laughs> ah. It's very no, bright. It's bright. It's bright and your eyes hurt. Very bright. I tried. I'm going to go sit inside. Bye. I'm getting a headache. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? No, that's all. We're done, we're just that, we're done to... with hunting for rats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After the uh, breakfast, um, Rogar is going to uh, start like laying out his his like bedroll and stuff like that and going to kind of start an inventory of the items he has in his bag of holding. Mm-hmm. Um, and as he does so, he's going to ask his companions to come around. Um, please, my friends, I have matters to discuss with Perhaps All of you do a full point. inventory. <laughs> All of you at this point inventory? Should, should realize that Rogar is not normal anymore. Something's wrong with him. He's using He's big cursed. words. He's making plans. Something strange. Wait. Rogar, I think he's cool now. <laughs> uh, Why, yes, Rogar. We're checking our inventory. Hmm. Are we here um, to divvy up the loot? Yes. Uh, there are many healing potions to give uh, to one another, along with some scrolls, numerous uh, works of art, and of course, simply gold coins. Rogar um, is so, so astute now. 
<laughs> he does have 19 intelligence. It's pretty. Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, he <laughs> speaks the Queen's English and has some sort of an accent. And we lost him. I'm trying. I'm trying. That's great, though. No. Awesome. Uh, Mogus, Mogus, confused but impressed. Uh, Which is, you know, typical. Mm-hmm. Confused but. Yeah. Um, my healing potions have disappeared from my inventory, even though I added four last time. So. Cool. Strange. Um, well, yeah. Well, so when we had the in our collection of this uh, last fight, we gathered a total of twenty healing, uh, regular healing potions, two greater healing potions, one superior healing potion, along with um, this is just me, the player talking. Thirty-six uh, or three thousand six hundred fifty gold. Uh, worth of art and gold um, or gems whatever and, and then 1500 silver pieces along with four different scrolls which I'm assuming would all go to Trist because he has most use for them probably um, as someone who could learn spells um, we found a large crate of crimson eye which grants the users uh, like a form of haste we found a small pouch of blue cinder, which is a spell casting uh, drug. Um, the Journal of the Great Thinker. Uh, and that should be it. So. Is all of this what being, I w- sorry, is all of this being pulled out in front of us? Yes. yes. Um, okay. Along with the other 11 gold bars uh, that we still have, giving us a total of 19 gold bars. Worth, um, is it twelve hundred a piece? Twelve hundred a piece Gold? is what you guys figured piece. out. Where okay. are the other captives while we're doing this? You guys are Rogar is laying okay. out all we're in a circle. Nineteen, nineteen, <laughs> Rogar. nineteen, 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 nineteen. Gold, solid Rogar's gold. Twelve hundred gold pieces each. Yes, if so they were, you would have to like twenty four thousand gold pieces. Yes. The, you would have yeah, to, give, you would have to find somebody. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to find somebody yeah, that would take You can't take just it. go spend bullion no. at the store. Is that just, what you're telling me? You can't just drop off the gold bar. You have to find someone to exchange. Rogar could. He's strong I'll enough. I'll take 1,200 things worth of gold here, please. Yeah. So, a I normal need this person, made into gold pieces. A normal person seeing that would be like, oh my God. You know, like yeah. an average farmer in Conwich probably like makes two years like, worth of salary, right? Oh, what? an average farmer in Conway probably am. makes like a hundred gold pieces a year. Oh, damn. Uh, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost nothing. So You're rich. Th- this is like something you would build a small city with. <laughs> um, a small city that, that we, that we could then burn to the ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and build again. Mm-hmm. Um, along with, um, I'm assuming uh, a starting to smell toe of a giant, um, a helm of toilet portations, yes. um, and numerous crossbow bolts. Yes, um, a broken helm. Yes, a broken helm of teleportation. Um, yeah, so that would be everything that I have in my bag of holding. Um, so currently, I want to try to divvy up just to make sure that we have equal healing potions around for everyone um that way you know no one has like 15 healing potions and someone has zero so um i wanted to kind of just like pull our inventory to make sure that everyone has you know kind of an equal share of what they need um especially when it comes to the healing potions the gold you know we've got so much of it i don't think there's really i don't know there's not <laughs> It's not much. We, I feel we trust like, uh, Rogar to be the treasurer. Okay. There's so Company much dragon. Yeah. You should now, uh, yeah. especially. Um, <laughs> now he can actually keep he knows, track of he it. He knows the maths. Yeah, yeah knows now he knows the, the maths. Um, not only does he know he wants to keep the shinies, but he can count yeah. the shinies now. Yeah, that's right. Count the shinies as well. Um, <laughs> Rogar has so 12,000 shinies. My suggestion is that our frontline fighters um, will either get the superior healing potion or the uh, greater healing potions, um, at least um, one apiece. So just because we take the most damage. Um, I generally think they should get all fighters. three. 
I think you should get yeah. all three because yeah, I, I, I had five that I was able to just like throw at all of you because I'm always mm -hmm. in the back. So, mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, our, 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 uh, casters usually don't have as much health. So I hit smaller healing potion goes a longer way as well. Um, so Rogar currently has zero healing potions. Uh, Belria, how many healing potions do you have? Well, I was going to take four from the first, so I would have one if I didn't, if I hadn't taken any yet, I have one. Okay, you have one. Okay. So one healing potion. Mo, how many healing potions do you have? Herb. Uh, I have six, so I don't need any. You have six? If, yeah. Okay. As uh, Anthony pointed Tristan. out last Yes. Game. <laughs> sitting on six. You're sitting on six of them. <laughs> uh, Trist, how many healing potions do you have? Uh, three. Three. Okay. And um, uh, Zoom? I haven't taken any yet. I have one regular potion left. One regular healing potion. Okay. <laughs> so it is. Mm. Uh, so that's. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, 31 healing. That's 31 healing potions total. Um, so I uh, I think we should probably try to divide that evenly if we can. Um, so about six potions a piece, I think. So we'll just uh, I just get see. to keep mine then, right? Yeah. yeah. You would just keep yours. Um, so six times. Yeah. So all right. So once once someone will get one extra healing potion, I believe. So um, whoever wants that one extra healing potion. Who's the squishiest? Is Trist it Zoom? gets it. Trist, does he the squishiest? Hey, I was, I mean, I was, in, I was in terms the of hit points, it's probably <laughs> yeah. me. I roll. A, yeah. I get a d6. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Trist I is definitely last the session. Weakest. I don't know yeah. about you. Well, <laughs> Trist, Trist gets extra help then if he's super squish. So we should just be all to put, put six, except for Trist, who will put seven. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Valerie, do you want two greater healing potions or do you want one superior healing potion? And I believe the superior healing potion has to use an action, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, the the big one is an action. It's an actual potion. It's not the okay, in, not the inhaled version. The inhaled, like the, the greater, the greater greater. Before you said that, anyway, and now I'm really gonna take the greater. Okay, so you want the two greater? I want to take an action. Yeah. You want two graders. Okay, so put two graders in there. And then, and then I'll take this. And then how many regular ones? Four. Six. So, so six total? Total. Six Seven. total. It was what you should have at the end. Yeah. Because I just did everyone's healing potions total. So. So you should have four regulars and you have two graders. Yeah. So when All are we right. going to have the reading of the minutes from the last meet? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part um, of every video game: video inventory management. Inventory <laughs> management. It has to be done. I got, I got like eight meals has, of it cheese. It has to be done. Inventory. Yeah. Yeah, no, got to eat these. Yep. <laughs> Rogar now can appreciate the fine art that we stole. <laughs> it's true. Yes. Well, Tr yeah. Tristan wants to put that fine art up in his wizard's tower whenever he gets it. Now. I will say, Trist, the fine art is of it's it's of uh, spiritual value. It's it's depictions of uh, Acris, the basically almost like the the chief god of the dynasty. Yeah, yeah. Um, you did run into some of his followers. They tried uh, you and Rogar and Velry and Moog and Portorona yeah. um, at the Temple of Acris. Don't know if you're into that or not. Might be. Maybe you're into it. I don't know. We're keeping that for now. He is depicted as is a uh, is hobgoblin esque. Mm -hmm. So. Um. Uh, well. In terms of spell scrolls, Tristan is going to give Zune the Tasha's Caustic Brew because. That's a wizard spell. I can't. It's not a wizard spell, so I can't learn it. Uh, he will also give Zune Zone of Truth. 
Good one. He'll give Rogar the armor of Agathus, second level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Valerie will get freedom of movement. Freedom of movement, Valerie. Can't be held um, down. However, it everything does take action to read it. Yes. Yeah. Um, does um. Milk does not get a spell because I don't have any more extras. He just needs. Does anyone want, want the crimson eye? We have a large crate. Tr Tr Tristan took four of them. Okay. Milk is not smart enough to read a spell scroll. <laughs> Trist Tristan also took four of the cinder and. There's only you know, there's only two two cinder. Oh, there's only two. Only oh, two. Well, then he will take the two and toss one to Zoom, assuming he knows what it is. He probably ha actually. I don't know if Zoom would know. I mean, like, how common are street mm. drugs here? Street now, street drugs like red eye are common. Okay. Um, or crimson eye. Excuse me. I keep I'm slaving in the cowboy beep up there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Um, cinder is is rare. This would be like like top shelf illicit drugs Damn, no. um, well this, not only is it illicit but it's also um uh it's it's almost like the like super steroids for wizards and spellcasters and stuff um the particular type of cinder you have in your possession gives you advantage on attack rolls with magic i don't think you have a lot of those zoom now it does rave your save dc for spells that deal damage by two so zoom has got a very small window there of spells that do that just so you know but you could it could be used well if i end up not using it i can always give it back okay it does have some drawbacks we, we spent a lot of time in the elven city so we, we might be familiar with drugs some i mean some. at least the high elf yeah yeah uh, the rest of that needs to stay why? Okay. For it's, it's uh it, it's uh I'll tell I'll tell you later. You'll probably hear my phone call. Do you take some? Did anybody take some of the crimson eye? I took. I four. mean, you, you literally have a like a big crate. Giant crate. I mean, full, full of them. I feel like has, you're baiting us into bad decisions. It, it has serious drawbacks from a person who may have used them before off <laughs> off campaign. <laughs> uh, Anthony would like, never lose down a dark path. That's so out of character for him. Uh, I, I wouldn't get you hooked on drugs, guys. Come on, yeah, that's a, drugs are bad. Okay, <laughs> Trist, how do you use it? Uh, the, what the exactly crimson? does it do? Yeah. Uh, well, you drop it in your eye, and uh, you can move a lot faster. Uh, some might say, uh, is it double the speed for haste? Yes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Double speed, you get plus two to your AC, you get advantage on all perception <laughs> tests. Okay, but, yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a small handful of that. Sure, why it's, not? <laughs> it can it can mess you up if you uh overdo it. I'm already messed up. I'm gonna take a handful of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So forest Zoom likes to party. <laughs> a bard. <laughs> I know, right? It's called freedom of movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a. You might have to create it. Yeah, you'd have to create it. It just yeah. has scrolls listed in there. And yeah, might have to yeah. do that for you. Or just make a note say you can yes. cast freedom of movement. Yeah. And what, just, and what does that mean? I can. Use it's a spell. Now, I know how you like to never use your action, Valerie. Um, you have to use your action to cast it. Huh. However. Once you cast it, you cannot be grappled or um, or paralyzed, even by magical means. And you for cannot be you, for. I think it's a minute, uh, an hour. It's an hour. It's a whole hour. Yeah. It's a fourth level spell. So yeah, it's it's, a, it's very very powerful spell. Um, Trist, you can cast fourth level spells now, right? You and Zoom. Yes. Okay, so theoretically, you could read from it, Valerie. Um, it is it's a powerful scroll. You might have to make a ability check to do it. Cool. However, it wouldn't it won't be too bad. It's very good for you since you can walk on walls and yeah, oh, yeah. that's true. Nature. Yeah. 
And then Tristan will pocket one of those diamonds for spell component reasons. All right. And then toss one to Zune for possible spell component reasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Might need those one day. Maybe a revive a five spell. Yeah, yeah. Point. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I think that's it for Tristan. Oh, I'm sorry. My video, my internet cut out briefly. But did we go over the... Is the recipe in the inventory? No. Okay. Yeah, it was a was it it was just a page right like a big old blanket page looked like a blanket it was like a yeah like a big tapestry yes um Admiral. however zoom since you just looked into the woman's mind you would know that what she was given is not what you were what you found <clears throat> what she was given was actually like a small page like from a normal sized person's scrawlings Uh oh. Okay. I guess I will pull the person with the best perception aside and say, you know that blanket we found with all the weird scrawling? Yeah. I I don't think that's what made the thing in the pit. I don't I kind of had a little peek in our nutty friend's mind and um Did you did you Detect thoughts. I don't, I don't know what detect thoughts. What are you talking about? She's um, a little crazy. A little crazy. Um, she is completely off her rocker. There's no little about mm. it. Um, mm, I may have had some words with her without her realizing I was having words with her. And there is a small piece of paper that we need to find that has horrible things on it that we cannot read and we must destroy because it will make everyone who reads it completely insane. And may have had a hand in making Mr. Star Touch Invincible Killer in the Pit. Uh, who has a huge gaping maw and eats humans. I'm sorry. Eats humanoids. Things, how do you, people. How do you suggest we find this paper? Our only <sighs> source has been mutilated. And... and we searched pretty thoroughly in that room, right? Uh, yeah. In the, in the kitchen. You guys did. Is, is best of your abilities you did. I'm assuming that she may still have it on her, right? Does that seem plausible? I think she may have swallowed it, eaten it. Yeah. Ah, you're so literal. I thought... Come on, Tristan. I... Actually, that's possible. She's, I mean, I really don't know. Insane. What... I mean, that seems like something yeah, no, a same person would do. I'm going to use your gloves for reasons that I don't come by because of my race, so I don't want you getting any ideas. I don't, don't do pick this. Pocket her. I don't pickpocket, but I'm going to see if I can. Or who knows? Maybe I'll seduce the crazy woman. I don't know. I knew it. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think that's a good idea, but we will see. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, do you have up, any ideas? Walk up to Letty. <laughs> She's biting her nails, looking around. It looks like oh, she God. has found a stick and she is stirring the dirt. She's a not circular pattern dirt, at right? her feet. Do you look at whatever she's doing? I'm why not? I have another lucky point. So you I'm just gonna <laughs> you, you very carefully look over her shoulder and she it looks like she's just stirring the dirt. Okay. Hey honey. I don't want to alarm huh? you. I, I'm yes. right here. Yes. Hi. Yes. Um, I'm not sure how to ask this. You know what? I'm just going to use detect thoughts again, and I'm going to look for that paper specifically and what she's done with it. Yeah, Have her cast a wisdom 15. Hopefully she doesn't That's win. That's a fail. I look, That's a look, fail. Oh gosh, she's doing it again. She looks over towards you. <laughs> it's just a, this is very, it's a quick flash right now. I need to know where that paper is. Surface thoughts. The first <clears throat> surface thoughts are: I wish, I wish this best would leave me alone. I'm a stir. I'm, anyway. I'm a stir. <laughs> and Shit. as you start to look in, and you're trying, you're trying to glean a specific memory. Um, why don't you give me a spellcasting ability check soon? So just make me a charisma check, not save. Okay. Check. Charisma check. 
Not a save, just to check. Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. my normal plus four. Yes. Okay. Ah, all right, 20. Okay, dirty not 20. natural. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> all right, so you're able to somewhat, and, I, and, and this will be through coaching her, kind of talking her into it as you're doing it, trying to force her into showing you a specific memory. And as you're talking to her, and you subtly bring up um, paper, paper, cooking. possibly, possibly a recipe. Stars, one might say, yeah. <laughs> um, regardless, so as you are delving deeper into the mind, you do see that uh, the paper was given to her, and then it looks like. It was. She did eat it, didn't she? Not. This is. It's going to get slightly disturbing. Um, you might have to make a sanity check after this. Malkuth <sighs> took the paper, fed it to a different captive, then disemboweled him and removed his guts. And as he did so, he let his guts spill out onto the floor, and he forced her to eat them. Oh, you're sick, bro. I need to make a constitution saving throw or a sanity saving throw. You need to make a sanity check. <laughs> uh, should have just stayed in the city. Came out to the boonies for fun. I think I'm okay. 14. That'll be a 13. 13. You managed to keep it together. It is a very disturbing sight. And you're experiencing it from the first person as she is forced to uh, <laughs> reach in and grab ropes of intestine and begin to chew on them. Oh. Um, you can feel her sanity breaking literally as uh as this is happening um regardless though you do get a sense zoom that um needless to say that, that would be a disturbing thing to happen to anyone but there's something a little bit more to it and ever since she was forced to do this she has not been the same you can tell that her mind is just scattered not necessarily just from the act, as if perhaps there is this was more of perhaps a ritual than a than just a random thing. She there are forces the beyond your understanding and working. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. I'll let you get back to your stirring. Master. Master. Yeah, yeah, keep that up. You're doing a great job. Just yes. Quit. Yes. Okay. Never again. I've been scared straight. I'm done. Um, so what did what, you find out? I think she is the recipe. Oh. Well, no need to worry then. Mm, I don't think we... I think maybe if we could... I, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start with this one. I mean, are you guys used to seeing stuff like this? Because you're all being very calm. I have seen much. <laughs> I've seen things. Roger has seen things. Some terrible things. Are for the course. Huh? Uh, Tristan it is not give two shits yeah. about this person. Roger has seen um, possibly a, a, a dark god. Um, uh, went to his domain. So. Briefly. You know. He's seen seen a fair amount of darkness. Uh, yeah, so we will take her back to Achinit Nazir. Perhaps she will be able to heal her fractured mind. Ugh. It might be better with more fracturing and maybe breaking a piece of it off and just throwing that away. And just she ate someone's intestines raw like i don't 
I don't know how she's going to come back from that without mm. just completely like wiping her mind. Well, Miss Valerie we seems to handle it fine. <laughs> and um, <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good point. Mm. We Hell, maybe you <laughs> should talk to her. <laughs> well, we're like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. intestines. Yes. Okay. Um, Robert wants to talk to the soldier. Um, okay. Yes. Um, so, in, well, uh, in, you can pick him out as a soldier mostly because he's still wearing like the tattered remains of a breastplate. Does look like samurai armor. You do know that he's probably in some kind of in some kind of war band. Uh, is he um, hobgoblin? Yes. Yes. Hobgoblin. hobgoblin. Mm-hmm. No weapons. In bad shape. Um, the the armor's in bad shape? Uh, he, and him. <laughs> and him. He's in very rough shape. Uh, before we walk over, uh, Robert is going to talk to Trist. Um, do you, uh, um, Trist, do you recognize any of his, uh, any markings on his armor that would? Some that might be too damaged to tell. Um... You have a pretty good passive perception. Is it is it a nineteen? Is that what your passive perception is? Passive is a nineteen, yeah. Nineteen, okay. You would see that there are. It is weathered and broken and cracked, and um, there's barely any markings visible on the armor. Um, however, the color it is it is black, like it's black painted black armor, um, made out of like a hardened wood and metal kind of together, the equivalent of plate armor. Um, and you've only seen one other quote unquote um, war band in the dynasty that uses this kind of black armor like this and it was in fact the um, the iron battery which are denoted for their um, spell casting abilities uh, that's where the majority of the captive mages and volunteered mages and so on and so forth yes. are put to good use throughout the dynasty. Yeah, uh, yeah well, he's with the uh, battery, which uh, obviously myself and Zoom probably shouldn't openly uh, do any magic around him. But we'll like to talk to him, figure out his rank, ask him some questions. I don't think Roger knows about the iron battery. Um, Probably we, not. We, did we pass them on the way to Conwich? Mm, you, uh, you, you did pass somebody in di- in in iron armor like yeah. this. Yes, you passed some pass some recon troops. Like I think. Maybe? Yeah, you did. Now, I should also note that just because you're in the iron battery doesn't mean you're a mage. Like they okay. have okay. regular people too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want to ask about? just who he was, where he was stationed, what happened to his his brothers in arms. Why not? Let's go. Um, Robert's going to walk over to him. Um, you. Is he young or old? Or? Uh, middle-aged. Middle-aged. You are a warrior, are you not? Oh. <clears throat> uh, yes, yes, I, uh... Oh, I'm with the Iron Battery. Um, we're on a routine patrol. We were here to see what was going on with the, uh, the trade route here. No one's been able to get to Conwich in months. Conwich is safe. Glad to hear it. Um, got pretty worried. Uh, my lieutenant, he was crushed immediately by a boulder and uh, leads to say the rest of the company was fractured um, rather quickly afterwards. I'm the only one that looks like they survived. Me and the wargs, at least. Like I saw mm-hmm. a few of them around the camp a couple days ago. Your companion, Omen. He sent oh. us here. Omen lives. Good, good. He was always a smart one. Um, he said that there would be reinforcements. 
coming to this location. Yeah, we have a, a camp a few days away. Um, at least I, I think it's hard to tell. I'm, I'm not sure where I am exactly, but um, uh, if if I wasn't as out of it as I think I am, um, at least three, three, maybe four days away towards Warcom. We have a small encampment outside the city. How Would small? you like to wait here? No, okay, go ahead. How small? Yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe, well, not counting this scouting party that was I was a part of. I don't know, maybe 30, 40 men. Hmm. Um, do you wish to accompany us back to Conch? I damn sure don't want to stay here. Um, if you have a safe place where I can heal up and maybe get a message out, I'd uh, very much appreciate it. Akers will have mercy upon you. I do not want to leave you to your fate. However, it can be a treacherous journey. Are you trying to intimidate him, Rogar? Or are no, you trying to... Rogar's not trying to intimidate him. Okay, okay. Uh, just saying, sustaining right. a fact. Okay. Um, um, you are a man of, call it uh, honor, correct? Yes someone saves your life you are indebted correct as long as it does not break any of my other allegiances yes well he, he, he pats him on the shoulder it's good to have you with us um, waits for his name you can call me Khan Khan <clears throat> Khan good to have you with us he kind of like lifts him up. Um, oh, oof. yes. <clears throat> we must be setting out. We will be relying on you to help organize the others. Um, of course, of course. These mostly look like just farmers, um, small people. Mm. No fighters amongst them, I don't think, at least. Um, Rogar just nods and walks away with Trist uh, to the, the rest of the party. Okay. Um, uh, um, Tristan, will, Tristan will walk away and I'll turn back. Give, give me an insight check, Trist. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's low. Nine. Nine. Okay. Just wanted one. Okay. Uh, Tristan walks away. He'll turn back. Hey, uh, I used to be friends with uh, two two elves, the Varel sisters. Do you know if they're still? Are they still in the battery, or they move mm. on? I don't know any Varels. Well, just Personally, asking. I mean, the battery's pretty large, though. I, were they stationed in Warcom? I have I've lost touch with them for some years. I know most of the... Uh, a, a large chunk, at least, has been diverted, actually. Um, mostly up north. Right, well, it's good to know. Walks away. You walk away. All right. Would um, I know who, what the iron battery is? Um, hmm. You could probably infer. And Moog for sure knows what the hell the iron battery is because of his background. Um, you being part of a noble household um, essentially the iron battery is started off as a noble clan that was gifted with magical means and rose to prominence and since the uh, many many wars that have been happening in the dynasty since its founding in particular the wars against the draconian kingdom as well as the more recent, a few hundred years ago or so, uh, Goblin Rebellions have uh, grown to great esteem. 
as they are one of the only uh, certified spellcasters in the dynasty. Um, in the dynasty, spellcasters, in particular, mostly mages. So you're looking at mostly wizards and sorcerers, arcane spellcasting. Uh, bards kind of fly under the radar. Um, however, these two are in fact recruited openly into the clan to serve as magical artillery. And when I say recruited, I mean... Recruited. Recruited by any means necessary. Coerced. Yes. Okay. Strong coercion. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, as long as I know that, then yeah, I guess I'll be using my little rapier here on out. It's good. Yeah. Do you want my knife, Chris? I might. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Rogar. A question: are, are bards in the dynasty? This is a general question, um, not pertaining to Rogar's knowledge. Um, mm -hmm. Are bards considered like apostates as well? Um, I will say that due to the nature of bards in general, mm -hmm. um, the ones that are are powerful enough to, you know, rival wizards. Um, mm -hmm. Keep a low profile. If you were to show your ability to do some crazy shit, a lot of bard magic is subtle. Um, mm -hmm. If you were to do something flashy, one might say, you might get find yourself recruited. Um, but okay. for the most part, um, they they go under the radar. Okay. Um. Rogar, as uh, I guess we're setting up, getting ready to leave, get everyone ready to leave. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to ask Tristan about the iron battery and see if he'll explain it to him, mm -hmm. what exactly it is. Mm -hmm. um, Explains it all. Okay. Um, the he'll go in, go into detail. Well, I don't know how much detail, but that he assumes his sisters left the home to either voluntary join the battery or achieve some type of political aspirations with lords of the dynasty. Uh, Rogar will ask if uh, Trist is hiding from the iron battery. Of course. <laughs> um, okay. Um, do, now, do I look like a man how, that wants how, to do military service? How careful are you guys? Like, Rogar's trying you, to be very, very careful. To carefully stay away. disguising Out your of words. Your shot. You know, yeah, the guy yeah. walking yes, with yes. you on your way back. Yeah. Okay. There's right. like yeah. 20 other people with I mean, yeah, too. there's a lot of people there. Um, yeah. uh, especially with your insight check, Trist. This guy's not paying attention to you. Um, yeah, Trist, you, you dropped your knife when we oh, were man. trying to fight, oh. and I'm going to hand him <laughs> my knife. Butterfingers. Oh. Oh. Um, you know. Yeah. Knives are tricky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I will say, um, judging by what what it was said, Trist, you could probably denote that um, when he was talking about forces being diverted, div diverted northern, that they were diverted to the um, actual Iron Fortress, which is the hub of the Iron Battery, yes. and it That's is at the top of the map. Yes, it is. It's at the very top. It is actually the bulwark that um, Rogar might have heard rumors of in the Frigid Waste. It is the massive fortress that holds the line against the barbarians that live out in the wastes. It keeps them from breaching into the more civilized realm. Yeah. Um, Rogar is going to uh, try to whisper to of course. Trist, uh, you know, what his opinion on this this con should we try to lead him um somewhere or should we take the risk and take him with us i think we should we can take the risk i guess it's it might be too late sounded like he was coming with us regardless very well then we can always have a moog distract him with his crossbow with his crossbow. <laughs> Accidents happen. 
Shit. hunting accidents sure. happen. Oh, oh, <laughs> exactly. Happen. Let's go hunting, oh. my friend. Uh, <laughs> <let's> go hunting. <laughs> Oops. Uh, gonna, <laughs> gonna, gonna, get you the, gonna get you the dick, Ew. Jamie. I'm not <laughs> saying this out loud, but Valerie was hungry earlier, and I'm not That's saying that out loud. That's uh, true. Let me give her a strong, like... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um... <laughs> Are we? Did we? Are we like packing up and leaving now? I'm assuming you guys are walking out of here okay. now. Now, point of note: Are you guys going to move back towards the mill, or are you guys just going to go straight to town? Because it will, it assume. will, it will make a time difference. Assuming we go to the mill first, the mill. Okay. we have to drop off the girl. Um, okay. Just make it sure. Just, uh, just yeah, to make plot. I figure we at least notify him, though. I guess you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And then we can take her to the town. Uh, Tristan will plot a sending stone as we're about to leave. Okay. Burn the job's done. And over. As you... It's... You know that's not how it works. But yes! I know. You. <laughs> Just burn the job's done. Well, I see you slipped your leash. Hmm. Tisk tisk tris. Tisk tisk. Well, what job? What? And they, if the job was done, where's Gold Tooth that? Is he dead? Is he? Well, I gotta check my notes now. That was the goblin in town. It was a goblin on a ship. That's the one in the darkness, right? You have not come across Scram Goldtooth as of yet. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't know a Goldtooth, but I found where your stash has been attacked and stored. Stash. Hmm. You might need to be more specific. Well, I got a whole box of crimson. Huh. That's where it went. And I'd say you have probably about a day before the uh, battery shows up. Well, I suggest you take it with you. This is quite heavy. I think you'll find a way. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with it? Bring it back to town. I'll deal with it from there. To Dorona? To Conwich, at least. Okay. All right. Throw this in the bag of holding. No, oh, great. Oh, come back. Oh, and Trist. Since you have uh, <laughs> shown you more feisty than I first thought, I'm going to be sending someone to watch you. You best behave. And that's it. Call Rogar back. Put this in the bag of holding. Mm hmm. He's a strong How's boy. How's it going to fit? I'm assuming we're taking the contents out Take of the. Out. Uh... Yes. Take yeah, out. the crate and just kind of shoving it in there. Shoving. <laughs> and then there you go. Yeah, your bag of holding is almost full, guys. You have a got shitload a of, of stuff in here. Got a lot, got a lot of gold. There. Got a lot of meth. You know, you do, <laughs> basically, you have gold and meth yeah. in there. Uh, I guess it's closer to cocaine. I don't know. It's 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 pretty bad. It's, nonetheless, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Um, regardless though, you guys all begin maneuvering your way. You can take the same path back to the mill. Um, no problem. Rogar, between Rogar and Moog and Velry too, um, expert hunters, you're able to scale through the wilderness with no problems and don't trigger any of the traps as you were shown them by, uh, by Omen. So you're able to bypass all of the preordained traps as well or as keeps an eye on Khan. Exactly. Keep an eye on Khan the whole time. All right. All right. <laughs> um, why don't you give me an insight check, Rogar? Ooh, not good at that. 
Apparently no one is. Nope. Method two. Nope. Nope, Rogar. Mm. Oof. Can Do you I want to try, Zoom? Zoom? <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, at this point, we... Sure, why not? Please don't be a shitty roll. Eh, not great. It's 14. 14. 14. Zoom. Zoom I, you, Tristan and Rogar, and Valerie doesn't really care. Uh, Moog's kind of, I don't know. I don't know what Moog's doing right now. What is Moog doing as you guys are walking? Chatting up Khan. Yeah, you talking Moog to Khan? Is, yeah, well, no, I'm I'm just uh, um, probably near Rogar, um, keeping an eye on Khan with him. So I would probably, having been told to be the distraction, keep him, you know, just tell him all kinds of stories. And then this one time, you know, and uh, <laughs> tell, him, tell him all about uh, Weekend at Bernie's, you know? Of course, yeah, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just to, uh, I think, by regaling all of our um, tales of uh, tales of death and destruction, mm-hmm. uh, it might keep him in line. Okay. So, Zoom, you being more of a people person than pretty much anyone in this group, um, you're able to pick up on some subtle body language. Um, it appears that... Uh, that he is keeping a very close eye on Tristan Varel in particular. Damn. And you also notice him looking at you a few times, Zoom, but not so much suspicion, more of a the fuck is a drow doing here kind of situation. Um, the rest of you, uh, you do also see him stare at Velry more than once. Um, oh. A small elven woman uh, with apparently a great sword a demon forge blade and <laughs> several javelins strapped to her back wearing a gothic style dress yes walking through the woods totally fits and the equivalent of like a japanese society I'm just gonna throw it out there guys love it so um, i choose to yeah. interpret him looking at me as flirting and i would join mode <laughs> There you go, Valerie. There we are. So, hey. Uh, hey. Um, you, I guess you, thanks for saving us back there. Oh, it's no problem. So, are you from around here or? Um, no, not really. I'm stationed in Rorkham mostly. Uh, All the way from Rorkham? Yeah. I don't know. Did you get over here by yourself? No, all my friends got brutally murdered by a bunch of hill giants. But not you. Hmm. It was close. Really? But not quite there, huh? I'm slightly uncomfortable with this conversation. Oh, can I roll a charisma? I'm going to pull him back in. You pull him back in? <laughs> Go I'm going to pull him me, back in. Give me a persuasion check. Why not? Persuasion? You're so You're so strong. Please don't be shitty. Oh, I'll take it. 20. 20. Oh, shit. 20. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, no one can resist the drought. Uh, well, I'm... Yeah, I'm... I guess I did, you know, survive. So, there's that. It's very impressive. How strong. Uh, thank you. Um, has anyone ever told you that you've very smooth skin. Well, someone just did. Oh, good, good. Mm. <clears throat> oh, what, where, um, where do you, where are you staying in town by, by chance? Uh, I think you'll find out. Okay, that sounds, uh, all right. I'm just all right. gonna slide my hand over on his big, beefy forearm and just kind of Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep talking to him, and mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I'm, I'm serving as a good distraction. Uh, yeah, I'd say so for sure. <laughs> I want to know everything. I'm gonna ask him okay. all the invasive questions. You will get lots yeah. of lots and lots of answers there. All right. So there we just go. For clar- just for clarity, Zoom, the male bard. Yes. Is smooth landed on Khan, the male. What is he? He's. I mean, he's a hobgoblin. Hobgoblin that soldier. Is amazing. Who apparently. 
Yeah. As a thing for drow. I mean, I, well, not, listen. You don't see many of us. Uh, right. Drow, drow are naturally beautiful. Yeah, truly really beautiful. Uh, they, they are absolutely. instantly uh, charming. So, yeah. And uh, no wonder you escape because male drow are, you know, even even the I, male drow are looked down I in their own say, society. Yeah, it would not be oh, yeah. it would not be unheard of for you know a male elf in general, at least in this society, to be found attractive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, elves are always sing attractive. And dance. Yeah. I've got it and all. And find romance, apparently. Who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe Khan has spent some lonely nights out, you know, deployed yeah. with his brothers far away from home. Oh, yeah. You know? He just needs a Wearing a denim attraction. jacket out in the woods. Hell yeah, bro. I guess. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh, right. with the sam- his samurai helmet on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll go from there later, <laughs> I guess. All right. Okay. All right. As, uh, um, yeah. As Pumping in for information. Being and... very much distracted. Um, you get. I mean, you, you, what, what do you want to know, Zoom? You want to know anything in particular? I want to know about his battalion. Well, I'm not going to like be like, "Hey, tell me yeah, about yeah, his yeah, battalion." I but yeah, I I'll say know that about you're able to, to kind of talk him into revealing some things that maybe yeah. you'd let slip. Um, you would know that uh, he didn't want to go on this detail whatsoever. Um, he and his uh, his captain didn't want to go on either. No one from town gives a shit about Conwich. Um, somebody from high up ordered them to do so. Um, not not necessarily unusual, but uh, he's so important. Apparently, somebody you know somebody <laughs> uh, wanted that road cleared for some reason. Uh-huh. Um, you do also find out that lately there has been a, well, he's not an outsider. He's more of a pariah, um, known as, uh, Kazan Thunderstrike, a very infamous member of the Iron Battery that may have went off the deep end a year or two ago. And he tells you about him that he started wearing weird shit and doing strange experiments and um, he showed up in Rorkum a few times and uh, he's not exactly sure if uh, the orders that they got weren't from this man. Oh. Smells like danger. I like it. But yeah. All right. So keep going to town. Um, uh, It's going to suck when I have to follow through on this charade but we will see <laughs> kind of suck literally i guess oh, uh, yeah, yeah, take, uh, as, take one take one as, oh. as we we get to the mill first since you guys said you were Mo, stopping it moog's done it before moog has done <laughs> moog had someone take their teeth out i'm just gonna throw it out there oh god oh yeah oh, god. uh no let's be extra clear moog being played by anthony yes got down with a goblin who had no teeth grim real she was beautiful. Yeah. She's beautiful. She's now my girlfriend. Moment. Yeah, she that's actually kind of cute. She loves you. Yeah. Yeah, she's she elderly, does. and you I, deliver. Yeah, oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ten foot reach, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, she wanted. <laughs> she got. It. <laughs> we can have <laughs> we can have ogre ogre three some orgies, but we can't talk about Moog's ten foot reach. All Good right, reach. all right, all right. Um, as you get to the Thrak Mill. Avanel, who I kept calling her Avanel. Um, Avanel Thrak is the old man that you spoke to. Letty was his daughter. Um, Avanel is there. Oh, oh, by the gods, you found her. Oh, praise be. As he sees Letty in tow with the rest of you. Oh, Rogar, you, you've done us a great service. Thank you, thank you so much. I am, yeah. I am sorry. Um, I am sorry, Mister Thrak. We did not get there in time before her. Before dark things were done. Oh, her chastity! No, <laughs> no. I, I'm I unsure. I'm un- going like. 
Duck thing for that to her. R- Rogar is going up. Come, come to me, lady. Her, come. Her chest. <laughs> she, is, she comes stumbling. Mr. Stark. She's like she stirring as she's walking. <laughs> her mind has been broken. We, 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 will, we will keep an eye on her. We will, we will bring uh, her back. I will. I would be happy to take her to Attendant Nazir. We are headed there currently. We, we just got her back, though. You may come with me. I will offer you protection along the way. I am you. too old. I cannot make that travel. <laughs> Don't worry. I think it would be best if she came with us and we'll take her to, an attendant, to Attendant Nazir and we'll, we'll bring her back as soon as she's better. And I'm going to use persuasion for that and hope that I don't bomb that. <laughs> uh, that would suck. No. A Thirteen. It's not great. It's okay. That this, is my intent. I'm not lying. This will be family business. <laughs> we must, must 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 keep this from the rest of the others. They will think less of my clan. She's all I have left. <laughs> Absolutely. As he's all bent over and hunched. His shoulders all. Bulged absolute, up. His arms absolute are discretion, sir. Like, <laughs> like her dowry has, is dropped. He has, he has, exactly, it's dropped. Great. Think of your, think of your daughter. Yes, this I'm thinking right. of her now. She will, <laughs> she will do best at the mill. We will, we will take her in. We will, we will give her shelter. At least allow me to send her to the Nazir here. The, that is fine, but we will we will keep her here. We will keep her safe. Come, Letty, come. Perhaps I'm... as um, do you believe I am owed a reward? Um, you've never asked for one before. I have not. But I am now. You confuse me, good sir. What, what is it you wish from me? Oh, I wish surprised. to take your daughter. I wish to take your daughter to you. You wish to take her hand? <laughs> well, no, this no. can be arranged. Everyone! Yeah. <laughs> the mighty Rogar! Quiet, old man! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy off. for you, Rogar! You're gonna give a heart attack, Rogar. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's clutching at his chest, shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet your daughter to an intimate Lazir. I ask her, as my reward, and I'll definitely be paid. Uh, but, very Maybe well, so. but I bet I must come too. You must carry me. Very well. Yoga grabs him by the back. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh! Puts him on his, oh. puts him on his shoulder. He's violently. Oh. 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 Not violently, but here's you know. Some, here's some pops and cracks <laughs> moves quicker than it has in many generations probably uh, old man oh, uh young young mo here is oh. a young lord to a noble house if you're looking yes for... oh Jesus. you good sir you have good stock in you oh no but he's a he's one of those filthy bugbear i cannot oh, do shit <laughs> Uh, the racism of this old man. Racism. <laughs> I, I cannot, I mean, it makes sense. I cannot, Checks out, you know? I cannot <laughs> give up my my sweet Letty to such a filthy creature. Ah, it's all right. No I offense, smell like good sir. What no a offense. dragonborn she was fine with, you know? <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> dragonborn or noble? <laughs> no. The mighty Rogar. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, I apologize for the span's discretions against you. <laughs> Uh, it's oh, I know someone so frail and weak. You're so full of hatred. Uh, it is no hatred. It is well known. They're untrustworthy. <laughs> Sneaks. They strangle babes in their bed and eat them alive. <laughs> it just starts. I mean, it starts coming out. It's like some. <laughs> like, well, you know, so considering shit. considering I one shot a six year old. That's true. <laughs> it's just, he's just he, he keeps spouting off like some very hateful rhetoric in the back. That's amazing. Uh, for Thanks. the next, like, I appreciate, hour. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> the hour it takes back and gets to the... Yeah, to exactly. The, uh, the oh, jeez. Oh, son of Both gosh, just hangs but... back. Yes, and they say... They say... <clears throat> the large jaw is a pronouncement of... 
the discretions. It shows how evil they are and their true soul. We are here, old man. <laughs> oh, good, good. Let me down. I can walk from here. Put him down. Put him down. He starts aggressively. <laughs> yeah, get put pushes him down a little hard. Oh, he did oh, oh, you hear a lot. Oh, oh. You know, old man. In the north, when our old get to a certain age, yes. we send them off into the wilds, so they become oh. a burden to the rest of us. It sounds like a barbaric thing to do mm. to your perhaps your your, your wives and elders. <laughs> what perhaps was that, sir? I can't quite hear you anymore. <laughs> My ears may have gone. Letty, Letty, we're going to town. Rogers gonna escort him, turn the tent in his ear. You're escorting them into town. Um, yes. All right, what do the rest of you do? See, Mo, this is why you don't spend time in the country. The people out here are just full of violence. <laughs> back with savages. <laughs> Get back to the city. So people are educated. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Prejudice is everywhere. Soon, Valerie, Mo, Trist. Are you guys going into town or um, are you guys doing something else? I would go I into town. Going. Yeah. But I wouldn't go where they're going. No. Okay. Mr. Mr. Racist Friend. And Valerie's taken back by the racism. Latent racism was just in the face. So Are you really and- though? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not send a squirrel to hell like two episodes? Listen, ago? that's that's species. That's, racism, that's bro. different. Yeah. Racism. Yeah. Squirrels. How to do what I have to do. They're good eating. Have you ever had squirrel? It's pretty good. Mm. I'm sure Zoom's used to racism. <laughs> I'm sure I, I travel with it. It's, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like pretty much everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, this is normal. This is fine. Exactly. Just completely unfazed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're just used to people assuming things about you. Yeah. So that's just yeah. the way it is. <laughs> All right. So. Um, everybody. He's a really is... good thief. Or he's a really good thief. You yes. Know, he's... yes. Mm-hmm. And wonderful in bed. I mean, Apparently. at least as far as this guy Apparently. goes. We'll find out. <laughs> um, I, would, I would say the entire time we were making the trip and that, that dude with the old man was going off, uh, Moog would have just been kind of quietly mumbling under his breath, like listing off every kill he's ever had. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Just Most you know, of them hobgoblins. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Do some giant. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. We get um, it, and, and Moog, I will say, you're probably used to being treated like this, just because Clan Broadjaw is the only bugbear, like, prominent clan in the entire dynasty. The only one. We're kind of a big deal. You're kind of a big deal. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's, That's how I like to see it. All right. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a broad organization, you mm-hmm. know, 10-foot reach. Okay. As we get back to town... <laughs> you guys begin to split off. Um, Rogar's going towards the temple itself. Um, what about the rest of you? I'm curious. Attendant Azir, she wouldn't be considered a caster, correct? They only subjugate arcane casters. Okay. So, so religious clerics, clerics, paladins, they're kind of do their own thing. That guy's still with us? Yeah. Yes. Try, oh. I'm, I'll, I'll now... A good majority of the individuals stayed at the mill. There were a handful of like the, uh, there were a few traders and uh, Khan himself. Uh, Khan is really interested in sticking with you guys all of a sudden. I don't know what it is. Um, seems to be drifting close to Zoom very often. Good. Um, Trist, with your excellent passive perception, you see him smell Zoom's hair at least once or twice, just a little. I do wash it. Uh, <clears throat> I preen a lot. Yep, yep. Performer, I have to. Mm-hmm. This is fine. I'm taking him with Rogar. Like he's pretty beaten up and. Oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And most, and I will say, most of these individuals probably need to be seen by some kind of healer. They're not in a good way. Uh, they think how they've eaten, but um, some of them might be diseased and other things. Mm-hmm. So they're coming. They're coming with you, um, Zoom. I guess you're going there, Trist. 
Uh, okay. I just hang out in like the uh, little courtyard area for now. Okay. Velry. Hey, um, yeah, I guess I'm hanging out. On the way to town, mm-hmm. did I see any little rodents? Give me a perception test, Velry. <laughs> oh, God, the guy's with us, too. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to... I'm just asking if I saw any. I didn't see any. Five. <laughs> no, Valerie. You're, you're too hungry. And you don't know if it was the propaganda being um, delivered by the, the elderly man, or perhaps the very strange but yet sexual chemistry of Zoon and Khan. Um, you're thrown off. Uh, could be a combination of those and your hunger itself, but you're not able to focus and find any small prey. Alright. I'm probably just gonna hang in the party with you. Okay. Moog, what were you going to do? First, we're gonna find the mute button. Um, <clears throat> uh, Moog would... Uh, Moog wants to hit the bar. He's the bar. He's, yeah, he's a little... He wants to go to the tavern. It is slightly um, built. Uh, well, at least that part of it is built. The full inn is not, mm-hmm. is not in place yet. And mm-hmm. the shop itself is not completely fully functional. There still is quite a bit of construction left to do. However, the Codfathers. Mm-hmm. Back up and running. Bigger and better. Huh. It's um, good to be connected. It is. It's very good to be connected. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> throw open the double doors. Double doors. Um, and you do see that there is a, a large, um, almost like a sitting area, eating area here, right in the center of it. Um, you do see uh, Weevil and Bucket behind the counter, um, as well as an assortment of merchandise and wares that are not exactly locked up yet. Uh, right. because there isn't really a back room yet. Kind of sitting back behind there where they, not only do they sell all, all of the odds and ends they used to, the place mm-hmm. looks, I mean, since it's brand new, it's actually in really good shape. It looks uh, looks like there's going to be a lot of, uh, where once the Codfather was a rundown shack, this is going to be a, a glorious um, inn and uh, a suite and whatnot. So what would you like to do in here, Mo? Um, What time of day is it? So the travel back, you guys are looking at probably mid afternoon. Okay, so you know, not too early to start drinking. Yeah, like two or um, three in the afternoon, something <laughs> like that. Um, Moog would want a hearty meal and a tall mead. Okay. Or the equivalent thereof. No problem. You kind of walk up. Uh food preference, Moog. Curious. Um, you know, Moog is uh he he's he needs uh he needs his protein. He's gonna probably uh, have a roast. Uh, of sort or a steak, whatever, whatever's in that okay. range. Uh, he can eat the food that I can't for me. I'll, uh, so I'll there are some ox kind of like actual steak, um, yeah. beef, essentially yeah. that you can give me the porterhouse eat. version of that. Sure. No problem. You order one <laughs> yeah. and uh weevil, of course, that's for our payment and it is mm. exorbitant, but I'm covered. It's nothing for you. It's <laughs> yeah. It's fine. So you're able to kind of do that, and you do some drinking milk while you're in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, in the meantime, Rogar, Zoon, as you see Attendant Nazir, um, we'll get to Tristan Bellary in a moment. Uh, Rogar and Zoon, as you're inside, you do see um, there's someone talking to Attendant Nazir. It appears to be, and you guys have noticed now, there is a uh, Boars did and he has established the essentially a guard, a city guard, since the city has been revamped. They wear a, ki- a type of uniform. It's loose. It's not. Um, it's not cookie cutter. It's not uh, set in stone yet. It's not like a full fledged uniform, but they at least have like a little marking on their person, denoting them as part of the guard. Now, you probably have run across this man a few times. He's an older, more grizzled looking individual. And he is named, let me find him, Fallon. And he would be the equivalent of the captain of the guard underneath Bors. So Bors is kind of like mayor of everything. And then he would be the equivalent of captain of the guard. 
and he's talking to Attendant Nazir as the uh, two of you walk in. So you, you haven't seen him? No, um, he uh, did his rounds this morning. He hasn't come back. Oh, oh, Rogar, you're back. With I am. Zoom. Good to see you again. It's always nice to see you, and we brought a gentleman from the Iron Battery with us who needs some attention. I see. Well, the lady has more blessings to give than any. Come, come, my friend. She kind of as well as Miss Thrak. Letty, we haven't seen you in quite some time. And she's kind of doing this weird thing where she's chewing on a nail and she's her arms just kind of moving like this. One arm's just constantly moving. Well, um, interesting. Um, I see you've dealt with whatever boars had you do. Um, have you spoken to anyone about the... It, it doesn't matter. Um, have you seen boars? We just barely arrived back in town. Okay, I see. Well, um, she looks towards the other individual. Um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's, it's not usual for him not to come in. Um, if you see him, uh, send him my way. I might, I don't know, maybe I need to go, go looking around. Surely he didn't go home. Uh, he, he never goes home this early. Zoon is Fallon suddenly... Started, starts to walk past all of you to go outside. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to communicate what I'm thinking right now out loud because, oh my God. But um, I was right. Jade was off, but I'm not going to say that. <clears throat> not the time. But anyway, I'm <laughs> going to <laughs> just, you know, to con, you know, get strong for me. I'll be back for you later. And then... Oh, phew, I'm gonna turn, pivot, head straight to Triss because, oh my God, I have so much tea to spill right now, and it's 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 killing me. Okay. Zoom turns around and moves out of the room. Swish, swish, swish. Yep. Rogar is going to ask uh, Atina Nazir when the last time, you know, she saw a Force. I, uh, th this morning he was in town making his normal rounds. Um, he came to ask about. Uh, he came to ask about the uh, developments on the the cure, the, the possible <sighs> ritual to get the brand off of uh, all the individuals. But um, yeah, that was it. Was this morning? Um, does Rogar know uh, Boris's round routine? You spend enough time with him, um, you would know that. Uh, in the mornings, he does a, a very early mornings. He wakes up much earlier than any any normal person does. And he does a round on his direwolf since he no longer has a ward um, around the outskirts of, the, of town. Then he comes in town, he eats breakfast, and he goes about his day um, dealing with the people of Conwich and all of their many, many pity squabbles and everything else that comes with small town living. Um, um, and he's usually out most of the day, and that's about the, uh, about the only time they see him. Does he? He's gonna ask like what specific time that she saw him. Um, it, it was very early. The um, sun hadn't even risen yet. Had he come in for his breakfast? No, he'd mentioned something about um. I mentioned something about Kelks uh, making something. Uh, they got a hold of some ingredients from someone. Mm. Said Very he was well. going to be living like a king this morning. <laughs> he was quite excited. Please keep an eye on the girl. The father wants to take her. Um, but I feel she needs you. Yes, yes oh, indeed. Um, I'll see what I can do between this and the other. I'm having a uh, a tough time, but uh, we, we will make do. Thank you, Nazir. Mm -hmm. um, 
and Rogar nods and is going to walk out the door. Okay. Meanwhile, Tristan Velry, um, you two are kind of lounging out in the courtyard together. Um, you come, you actually hear something going on right after Zune and Rogar going to yeah, the Temple of the Well. You actually hear a very, very loud argument um, coming from the docks to people shouting at each other. Would you like to investigate? Listen, <laughs> Listen in. No, that's right. it. That's till we can hear. You kind of, you gotta hear somebody shouting in the docks, and you kind of look around and begin to mosey that way. And there's a bit of hustle and bustle around here. A few people kind of stop and look, and then divert their attention away. But you find two individuals. Both of you, um, you are familiar with both of them. One of them being the ship captain Brian from your previous uh, foray man with the kind of greenish skin and the strange looking bone crown around his head as well as Morag Bitterstout the head of the Bitterstout Trading Company they are on the dock itself Um, there's a ship that's being unloaded right now and you hear hear, you're kind of in the, the tail end of the conversation but you hear Morag we checked the damn cave boy it was empty why would they come back now? I don't know. But I'm going to put an end to this damn nightmare. The hell you are! I seem to remember the last time not going so well for you. And I have too much on my plate to chaperone a selfish child on his quest for revenge. And Brian kind of... His fists clenched at his side. Spins away from Morag and walks away in your guys' direction. Looks like he's heading... The one wanting to take care of the nightmare, I'm assuming, right? Or more I would think. Okay. And more kind of shakes his head and begins to go back towards cataloging um, the ship being unloaded. Brian's walking towards us. Yeah, looks like he's making a beeline for the Codfathers. If he is in, like, direct line of passing us, like as he passes by, it's like, what was that about? <sighs> Old man, not delivering on his promises. That's what. Trying to wipe out some cave. Give me a persuasion test, Trist. Oh, that's shit! Natural twenty plus one. <laughs> One. So, Trist, you see him stop and pause and look back towards you. <sighs> oh, more like a lot. Um, I do, but he said he dealt with something and it's not dealt with, and I need to do it myself. Um, I'm not too stupid enough to do it on my own, but uh, if he's not going to help me, maybe maybe you guys can. Uh, probably. I, I tell you what, I'll give you the full story um, later tonight if you want to learn anything else. I've, uh, yeah. See what I can do. I don't want to talk about it too much out here. Yeah, I'll meet you at the tavern then. Yeah, I'll be at the I'll be at the Godfather's drinking. All right. All right. And he kind of sets off. See, this is, see Zune probably walking out now. Oh, yeah. Zune and Rogar Be- walking be- out. Before she gets there, I'm going to turn to Villery. Yeah, Villery, I think you should suggest to the uh, party that we uh, donate some of our money to Conwich and help these people rebuild. Why do I need to suggest that? That would look good for you. <laughs> but help your help your image with, with Rogar. He thinks you're some monster. I'm a monster. Yeah, and if you, you know, if you suggest donating the money, then maybe that'll change uh, his appearance. Hmm. Hmm. 
with her sharpened claw, she kind of mm. strokes her face. <laughs> okay. So it means not much to you, Tris. <laughs> As the four of you begin to gather, Moog ripping into his fresh steak. Yeah, that's where we're going to take our first break. Oh, yes. 